YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Project Use It Up. I did mention in another video that I was going to start doing a Project 100 pan next year because you all need to see the source of my madness, I guess. I don't know. But I will still be doing these next year, so these will not be going away. I probably won't be doing any other Project Pans other than my the Project Roulette thing I have going on. Like the Project 60 pan that I have going on. Because like I said, you guys need to see the root of my madness, apparently. But like I said, this will still be going, so don't worry about that. So everything that I finished last month, let me pull out my actual list. I, uh, my empties, when they go up, we'll have reviews on these, so just look out for that. That one I dropped was the Wet n Wild mascara, so I finished that. I finished the Chlorine Dry Shampoo. I finished the Tata Harper Mini Mask, so now I sadly have no more of these. I finished the, I actually finished this just like yesterday, but it's the Clean, the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Shampoo and Conditioner. I like these okay, I would buy them on a sale, but I don't think I would go out of my way to purchase them. I finished the Drunk Elephants Frambu's Glycolic Night Serum that I don't think did anything. I finished the Caudalie Micellar Water. I finished the First Aid Beauty Face Wash. This was also my last one of these because I had two. One was just at my mom's. I finished my Estee Lauder Serum. Sadly, that is gone. I finished, the, I finished this just a couple of days ago as well. Past the, you know, end of the month technically. But it's the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I have a little bit at the bottom that I can't get out. I like this. Um, it's kind of expensive for what it is, but I do like it. I finished the Pharmacy Skin Dew. I used that up as a toner. And I finished the Dove Body Wash. So that is also done. So the only thing I did not finish and am once again carrying over into next month, I warned y'all this one was gonna be around for a while. It is the Deva Curl Daily Conditioner. I had two big one ounce packets, so I just dumped them both into here. So I did make some good progress last month. Last month I was here, now I'm down to here. I don't know if you guys can see my markings, they're kind of hard to see. But hopefully if I keep making that kind of progress, I can finish this up in a couple of months. <clears throat> so that I am carrying over, but otherwise I have 11 new things. And as I let you guys know, I think last month as well, even I am starting to get lower on, you know, miniatures to use. So I either might start installing full size products into this, which will go over a couple of months, obviously. Or I might just start having less than 12, because I do like to do 12 items in here every month. So we shall see as next year progresses. Now, first off, I have what I, plus, like I said, I have two boxes that I get every month. So I will always have at least some things to throw in here. Like this, for example, this, in November, I got the Glam Glow, which one is this? The Super Mud treatment, just the regular old fashioned one. I literally pulled off the seal to get a measurement on it. It is like here. <laughs> There's two uses in this. But it is in here to use up. I actually pulled out a perfume sample this month. This is the um, Stella McCartney Pop Fragrance. It is right there. That should be no problem to use up. Uh, sample sprays might start showing up in here more often. I have my Burt's Bees cleansing oil that I will be very happy to be rid of because I don't really like it. But that is all that's left in that. I have my Cover FX Illuminating Primer. This might carry over into next month because I'm trying to finish another primer as well, but it is starting off right here. I did at least want to get started on it and I have actually been really enjoying that. So yay for me. I have two mascaras that are dead at the end of this month and I don't like either of them. So. And I don't know why I make myself use crappy mascaras for the three months because I know I could just chuck them, but I paid for these. Like I paid my own money for these. There is one that I got in my Ipsy bag last month that I might not be keeping past the end of this month either though, because I don't like it. And at best I paid two bucks for it. So I may not be keeping that. Anyways, this is the Essence I Heart Extreme Mascara. And a lot of people like this and I don't. And the main reason I don't like it 
It's because of this brush. I, it's barely a brush. Did I get a bad brush? I don't know, but I don't like it. And next is the NYX Zaza Zoo Fiber Infused Luscious Volume. I don't think it does anything. I hate that brush. It is short and fat. And see, when I look at it here, I can see fibers, but they don't go on my lashes. Next is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Gloss. I am starting right there. I've already had to pull the stopper out because I got these two years ago. Yep, that's why I'm trying to get rid of it. Two years ago for a Christmas sampler set. But they are so tiny that with the stopper in, you barely get any product out. And they're, they're bad, they were badly made. Like these teeny tiny little samples. No, bad. I have the Caudalie Beauty Elixir that I'm going to use up the same way I used up the pharmacy one as a toner. It is starting right there. There's really not much left to it. And I hate the sprayer on that thing. The sprayer's not very good. I have a last minute replacement for something that I finished the other day. This is the Mark Anthony Dream Waves Beach Spray. And I'm starting like all the way down here. I know it's kind of weird to use a beach spray in December, but they give me a lot of texture. And with all these layers, texture actually kind of looks good on my hair. So I use it. And lastly, I have the Dr. Brandt Cleanser that I when I did my measurement originally, a couple of days ago, when I initially planned to film, it was up to here. <laughs> it's lower than that now. It's like here. <laughs> you know, you guys know Dr. Brandt stuff. They don't come very well filled, so that's not terribly surprising. But okay, so when I initially filmed, I left something off, so I'm inserting this in real quick. Uh, my 12th item is actually a bag of makeup samples that I want to use up. There's a bunch of primers in here. That might be a mistake. See, I have the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment that I use as a primer. I have the Dior Addict Lip Maximizer, it's a gloss. I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow in Desperation, just kind of a taupey color. Makeup Forever HD Primer, Hourglass Mineral Veil, the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Stick. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I think it's a pore filling primer thingy. Dr. Brandt Pores No More, Givenchy Master Matte Mattifying Primer. I do really like this. L'Oreal Youth Code Pore Vanisher. Another Hourglass Mineral Veil. A Sephora Blush Sample in number five, Sweet On You. I've used up one of these before, it is really nice. I have the Touche Clock from YSL and 4.5. I'm gonna try to contour with this. I have an eyeshadow sampler from Sephora. That should be pretty. And I have a Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Little quad. I think I can use these two on my face and these two I might try to contour with. We will, we will see, but I've, my makeup samples in particular have really piled up and I wanted to use them. So I figured I would insert them in here. That is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye.